sir. Back at it again. Back at it again. Another episode of the Fat Poppy Slim Poppy podcast coming live and direct to you. I am blue. Bottle bleed, bottle blah. Bottle bleed, bottle blah. That's what they're saying? <laughs> I have no fucking idea. If anybody knows the lyrics to those songs, please post it up. I was just a kid, just like, mm, ba da be da mm, ba <laughs> I'm like, I don't know either, but it's close enough, as long as I get the vowels right. For real? <laughs> um, Fat Pop here, again, with you. We got the Man of Darkness, mm-hmm. a.k.a. Who's That Creeping in the Dark? They call me the Dark Knight. <laughs> you don't even want to know why. Oh, it's, it has uh, it's nothing not to do with the silhouette. <laughs> it's because he's dark and he only comes out at night. <laughs> uh, anyways, how you doing today? What's 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 the word? What's going on with you? Oh man, just barely like getting back into the swing of things because uh, I had my my kids' little birthday gathering on Sunday, and I need like a full day to recharge my social battery. And, um, <laughs> well, not only that too, it's like, it's like this indoor aquarium that's like centered around kids. So it's like the Chuck E. Cheese of aquariums. And damn, aquariums smell like feet. Damn near. You got um, bad pizza. They didn't have any food. Really? Really? Nah. No, they didn't. And what's crazy, too, is it's in a really nice part of town in a really nice city. And just this one spot is just like, it's been open for years, but it's got so much wear and tear from all the families going in and out of that bitch. Uh, It's just, it looks a little run down, but uh, at least, you know, the animals, like seeing all that was kind of tight. That's a pet some stingrays. Well, I didn't. I saw people pet them because I I'm still kind of like got PTSD of just knowing about the uh, crocodile hunter. Yeah, I saw it. Uh, I pet one in Hawaii, but I sized the nigga up first. I'm like, yeah, dog, you can't do shit to me. <laughs> Imagine you trying to like size up anything in the water. No, nah, like, fuck that. I know. I'm just gone. like, come on, bro. <laughs> come on, bro. Just... You, you can't be a thug nigga and square up with a shark or nah. this jellyfish. Like, you're going to punch a jellyfish, you're going to be the stupidest nigga out. Yeah, you can't, like, do, like, the Captain Insano. Like, none of that. Nah, you got to do some... You you know what you got to do to a jellyfish? And it's not going to be cool at all? You got to say like this. Mm-hmm. A little, you bop little it. little tap on a little bop. You're not looking gangster. Slapping down no. jellyfishes. No, you no, you can't. It just doesn't work. I mean, you could try to do like like a hammer down fist, but then again, it's like the water you going to slow you down, so you're going to look mad, mad weak doing that. It's just like no, nah, you're going to look mad puss. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> so you look wild pussy out there, dog. For real. <laughs> Act like um, you ain't never swung a hammer before. I was he a jellyfish, but you the one that's sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Guppy, <laughs> calling a nigga Guppy. <laughs> Cold. That's very offensive. That's one of those moments where somebody call you that, and the other motherfucker say, <gasps> mm-hmm. "Yeah, that's when uh, that's when a crowd forms." Yes, but dog, I don't understand. It's a fucking kids place, and you do not serve food. You understand? Nah, we brought our own food, and. My girl was kind of smart this time because, you know, when you throw a little uh, shindig for for your kid, especially like one that's like got a bunch of kids coming over, a lot of them kids ain't really that hungry. All they mm-hmm. want is like the cake, maybe some juice boxes, but yeah. they just want to play. Um, so she got smart. She just bought a shit ton of Lunchables. And... um a bunch of juice boxes and waters and like that's all you get i mean of course we got like some nice cupcakes from like a nice bakery but yeah i mean there was a there's some weird shit man like the the 
the mermaid that we paid for. <laughs> bro, let me tell you about this Mermaid's fucking been mermaid, things. bro. <laughs> uh, bro, we saw the website and it said you could pay an extra like hundred something dollars for like a half hour to an hour with the mermaid. Damn, and mermaid got high prices. How many I mean, roses was that again? <laughs> I'm just saying, I mean, we, we saw, we saw the photo that was just like, oh, she in the water. She's like hanging out the tank. Like, you know, she looked like, you know, something out of like a, 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 a painting, just like saying hi to all the kids, blessing all the kids. But what we got was <laughs> nothing of that sort. Let me tell me you, I was tail. fucking <laughs> trying to hold it together when they wheeled in this mermaid. <laughs> this mermaid <laughs> was on a fucking wheelchair. <laughs> and she's just like trying to like flap the flap her little fins every so often to give some sense of realism. And there's like this area, we're like in this, you know, uh, venue room or whatever that's like in the middle of the building and I guess they have this area where you look like you could stand on a surfboard and take little photos kind of like what you see at a an amusement park so they wheeled the mermaid to that little section sat her on the surfboard and she just had activities she's like oh whoever wants to get their face painted like, come over here. We're going, you know, paint your face. We're going to take some photos. My kid was not having it. <laughs> she was like, oh, mermaid, mermaid. Oh, mermaid. <laughs> mermaid wasn't mermaid. even done up. Mermaid, mermaid, like, just got, just clocked in. Like, didn't have no makeup, no nothing. Mermaid been through some things. <laughs> For real. <laughs> um, and I guess... We try to have my kid take a photo with the mermaid and the mermaid try to like put her hand underneath her chin to, I guess, to be cute or whatever. Nah, she wasn't having that. She's like, uh, pulled away and then like kind of like, got up and walked away. Like, nah, I'm good. Going back to these cupcakes. <laughs> I barely ever get to eat sweets like this. I'm, I'm going to have my cupcakes. Um, but yeah, there was hella kids that, that were really enjoying the mermaid. They was again their little face painted, their arms painted. Bitch, it was all show, to... They was all showing it off like they just got like fresh ink. Like, oh look what I got. Fish scales. Oh my God, you're with Khalifa, dog. <laughs> and there was like this little like activity in the middle of the room. It, it's like a Fisher Price giant connect four where you have to use two hands to like put in the rings and like play a game. These kids weren't playing the game. They were just trying to put in all the rings and then just like dump them out and then re rinse and repeat. And man, they was loving that. And um I, I almost we we was pretty close, bro. We was pretty close to like having an accident and might have to like call call some people because uh, they was like trying to tear down like a curtain or something that was like modular with pipes and stuff. They were trying to tear it down. But even though they had three people, they somehow managed not once, not twice, but it felt like three times they dropped like metal pipes onto the floor and it like rattled and got hella loud. All the kids were loud as shit. But then once that pipe fucking hit the ground, they was like quiet staring. I was like, bro, if one of those landed on a kid, Man, they'd be sued. But so I I just don't understand. Like the mermaid never like got in water. Never. Uh I thought she was going to go in the water, but the closest tank that she could have been in wasn't exactly the cleanest. Ooh, it was I slightly like it. <laughs> slightly green. Maybe throw off the pH balance, probably not good. <laughs> Not even hers, the tanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, nah, but we, we try to hurry up, do the little party thing, and then get out of there, and then start walking around the whole little area. It was tight. You get to, like, see all types of little animals, and, um, yeah, 
kids were loving it. My knees were fucking shot. You know I'm getting old when, like, I'm worried about my knees. At the end of the day, when they start getting hot, I was like, fuck, I've been doing too much walking. <laughs> Sitting over there looking like an NBA player with just ice packs on your knees. To- For real. All right. Gosh, damn. Has- like, why do you have these big-ass compression sleeves on your legs? Bro, has, has anything happened to you now that you've gotten closer? Or I think you're 30 now. Yeah, I'm 30. Has anything happened now that you're around that age? Um, I feel like once you hit 30, something like goes wrong for everyone. So my back has been hurting a little more than it ever has. Mm-hmm. Um, it's kind of weird. Like my back hurt a lot when I was a kid. That was because I didn't have a good mattress. And I was telling people I didn't have a good mattress that my back hurt. And you know what they said to me? Nikki, you got a new back. I was like, wow. <laughs> but uh, so my back used to hurt like crazy from the time when I was eight to like 14. Mm-hmm. And then after a while, like it got cool. Like I had a little back pain, you know, normal shit. But as of lately, the like past two months, my back's just been aching for days. You got me talking like fucking uh, Johnny Leguizamo's granddad. I'm like, oh, well, at least I'm going to die soon. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, take me now, Jesus. No, God. Okay. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying everything I can to, like, slow this process down. I'm over here looking up like tips on like improve my mobility cuz now every time I like get off even a chair let alone like getting up off the floor or something it is a process depending on like what my starting position is it might be like a 5 step to 10 step process to standing up straight and getting started on something like I I'm looking up like little tutorials about like oh like how you uh, improve mobility. Apparently, if you do like a squat for like a minute a day, that's supposed to help. Yeah, um, you could do that shit, but as a nigga that has done that shit, that shit ain't easy, bro. You it is go not. Ahead, you go ahead and try to squat for thirty seconds I've, straight. I feel it everywhere. My feet, my knees. Pause. <laughs> like, yeah. it, is, it is bad. Go out ahead there. and start singing that song. <laughs> Where's it hurt? Mm-hmm. <laughs> nigga said my neck. <laughs> for real yeah dog it, it's it's just what it is I feel like you know another 20 years I'm just like gonna be like ah eh, this just sucks but okay we'll see yeah. how life goes I don't know I, I just I, I don't want to be that fucking old man that can't do shit with their kids I don't know if you have that that same feeling or you I'm just kind of accepted it. I'm not there yet. I'm like, dog, I, I can at least, at least break out another 12 years of, like, full activity. After that, dog. When's the last have... time you sprinted? Randomly enough, this is the fucked up part. This is how you know you got a problem. <laughs> Nigga, I work in this huge building, right? Well, outside of this huge building. Building's haunted as fuck, but that's a story for another day. And it's n- not occupied. That's just where we get electricity, use the bathroom, and store some shit. It's a fucking, like, damn near a K-mite, Kmart-sized building. I know that's an old callback. Uh-huh. But um, we have that, right? And the other day, I'm just like, Doug, when's the last time you sprinted? And I was like, yeah, I know I may have jogged a little bit and uh, tried to do some. Uh, I haven't even seen you do a power walk before. Tried to. Yeah, nigga, I used to, we used to actually play sports, but yeah, it's not in my average every day. I'll tell you I that mean, in your much. adult years, sir. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's been a while. It's been a while since we went out and played basketball. That but was uh, no, dog, I'm like, you know what? You've done hit trading on the elliptical. 
Nah, nigga. You're going to actually run this long ass hallway. Which I'll give it to you. Running across this whole entire building is like a hundred and something yards. And I did it. And you ever get to that point where you start running and you're like, I need to go faster. Let me just push uh, push this shit all the way past six gear. Yeah. Like, let me get into the mode where as a kid, once you get into this gear, you're probably going to instantly fall. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, I did where, that. Where, where even like stopping is like a whole process. Like, I can't stop too quick. I might fall over. Just. It, yeah. I did that. Um, and. I ain't do bad, but I used to run a lot last year when I was working at a, a lawn care service. Okay. It was it was literally just because I had to go out, I had to like aerate people's lawns with this fucking thing, and it would be hot to the fuck, man. And I got AC in the car, and I'm like, dog, I could either be out there and I could walk, and this shit is gonna take. 15, 20 minutes. Uh-huh. Or I could run. I'm going to be done with this shit in five minutes and I could go chill my big ass back in the AC. So there was a crazy ass big black man running around people's lawns. <laughs> <laughs> Aerating. <laughs> Aerating. In the big, these niggas' colors were green and, br- and brown. I had green pants on. And the jacket that they gave me was green and looking straight out of Grove Street with the aerator, running my happy ass all around. Go back into the car, but before I could get to the car, the Bluetooth connect from my earbuds to the fucking car. So then I just open up the fucking car door and here goes Joe Button talking about, yeah, dog, I took so many pills before. Like, dog, my dick does not work at all. Gosh, <laughs> damn. Yep, that's that's what you would be seeing in these uh, higher brow neighborhoods. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I if I was one of the customers, I'd I'd have questions, I'd have concerns. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I'm like, I know it's hot outside, and I know that that's hard work. And you out here like running? Like, what is he knew, on? What is he knew. on? <laughs> I had a gallon, a big ass gallon of fucking water every day. Every time I would get back to the truck, I'm like, <sighs> do you even drink it? Just pour it on just yourself. Dumb some, <laughs> drink some. Right? <laughs> fucking sit there, lean back, and just like fucking think of what you just did for about mm-hmm. three minutes. It it did take me 15 minutes each stop, adding in my cool down time. <laughs> I'm not mad at it. Five minutes of work, 15 minutes of rest. That that's a good ratio. Hey man, I, I was I was about it. He was over here having like two a days. Yeah. I mean especially because it was at the point of the time where it was like nigga, it could it could be ninety-five degrees outside and it's gonna rain on you. Uh-huh. And once it's done raining, it is going to be so fucking humid, sticky, fucking hot, hard to breathe. Like, nigga, no. <laughs> you got to get this shit done. Yeah. And yeah, don't play I- with me if I had a little bubble in my stomach. I'm like, oh, nope. Not today, nigga. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't miss doing that shit. Triple degree uh, weather, and then like you can even feel it through like your work shoes of like how hot the the concrete is. Bro, I I can't lie. I'm you know I've been around the same areas and shit like that, but it's just something about the fucking humidity out here, dog. I know you can attest because it was like eighty five over here last time you were here, and it was fucking. You're like, dog, this is unbearable. My my legs are not built for that weather. <laughs> like, humidity is fucking just Satan's kiss. Like, it's just, a, it's not even like, like a short little when, peck. Even when I wear shorts, my, my leg hairs want to lay down. <laughs> That's fucking funny. 
This nigga's laying his leg here. <laughs> With the they ain't going. They ain't going like you know, flow in the wind either. They, they just going to lay down and stick. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like a wet flag. <laughs> 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 Oh, my God. I, I don't know how you do it. I mean, how long have you been out in Texas now? Like two years? Two dreadful years. Two so you had two summers, right, under your belt? Yeah. Now, is the second summer worse or better? I don't think there's any improvement. Because I feel like the first summer is always going to be the worst of the worst. Because you're not prepared mentally. Nah, it's... Here's the fucked up part. It's because this place has, like, no chill whatsoever. So last week, it was 85, 90 degrees. And there was a point for, like, a month. eh, Not a month. Most of October was, like, 84... To 80 degrees, like straight stayed in that fucking area. And the only reason I know that is because I have to deal with that shit at work. And that shit was cool. No problems. No nothing. Four days ago, we were on a freeze warning. Damn. Dog, it went from 80, all right, it went from 85 to 75. To 43. Three days. That sounds and, like everyone's just getting colds. Colds and fevers. That is, And that's literally what happens in the summer. It'll be like, okay, we've got a cold front coming in. Boom. Cold. Fuck. 30s. 40s. Still raining. Next day. Still raining. 65. Next day, still raining, 80 degrees. And you're like, what the fuck is going on here? Mm -hmm. So do you still keep around a jug, though? Even though you Uh, don't even do labor work, you just... I have, I'm um, I'm keeping the G with you. I got like three or four water bottles in the car at all times. Just Just bacon. Just in case shit goes down. Just bacon? Like that? Nigga, I, if if it is hot enough, you have to pour that shit on yourself, dog. It will help. I'm telling you. How is pouring hot water in the summer going to cool you down? Because even when you get a little piece of a breeze, it helps. You just got to you gotta incorporate that, dog. If you pour, I don't care if it's warm water on yourself and you drive with the windows down, you can be okay. That That's shit will part get of your you. cool down. You like, that, that I'm going to pour water on me and I'm going to drive. I'm going to put all the windows down and just start driving because there's no wind. Dog, I've done stupid shit, dog. It don't make sense. You want, you want to hear something dumb? Nigga, have you ever been so hot that you put your jacket on? Have you ever uh, been so hot that you put your jacket That's on? That's like some desert drive? shit. No, you put your jacket on on the freeway to drive only to put your arm out of the window to hope to get all of the air caught in your fucking jacket to, like, blow through. Yeah, bro. That, that's miserable. Yes. Okay. Have you ever wanted a hot sandwich so you just took your sandwich out of your lunchbox and placed it on your glove box? Huh? <laughs> it's like, somehow it doesn't even cook it. It's like, look at that. You know... You look at my sandwich, and the mayonnaise is clear now. <laughs> uh, I ain't never done that shit. I only say that shit because one time I did legitimately. I was like, I'm hungry, but I'm around a place where there's no place to eat. Like, I'm going to stop by this fucking gas station, and I'm literally going to get a honey bun. And I put that shit on my glove box and went to go grab it, and it was hot to the touch, and I ate it. And I was like, wait, what? This is so much better. <laughs> Uh-huh. If you're if you're doing that, then maybe you should just move to Arizona where it's one of the hottest places in America. Dog, I look and up. then you you could cook anywhere, bro. 
Because now you don't have to have just water. You could just keep a griddle in your car at all times and just leave it out for a little bit outside. And then you could cook up anything. I've seen the videos. I've seen it. You know how scarred I am, sir? I've looked up. I've looked up houses. Yesterday, I looked up houses for rent in Akron, Ohio. Why? Because at least the weather is fucking always going to be the same in Maybe if I'm lucky, my kid could go to LeBron James school and get a free bike and they pay our tuition and fucking Damn. house for a year. You like, bend oh. everything on your kid. I'm like, dog, if you get accepted. <laughs> like, you no get pressure. Ex- <laughs> no you pressure. You just have to be extremely successful because I'm fucking dying out here. My back. <laughs> <laughs> Look, my back. <laughs> just... uh, nigga, well, listen when I turn to you. <laughs> I ain't got it no more so. That's on you You got the juice now <laughs> Remember me nigga You gonna be on a big ass rock And you gonna see me in the sky And I will not Accept G League You better than that <laughs> uh, nigga, LeBron James school sucks At uh, fucking sports But that's the <laughs> side Oh, so you could go. <laughs> oh, my God. But, yo, so I've got to tell you about something. Um, this is just kind of, like, cool and something that I just like to see. There's this guy. His name is Big Job, right? And I've seen him on All Deaf Digital Roast Me um, do shit with Teddy Ray, R.I.P. Uh-huh. R.I.P. Um, Patrick Cloud, all the niggas. About two weeks ago, they showed me uh, his YouTube channel. Um, maybe it's because I've been following a new podcast with Patrick Cloud and this girl named Chris Stephanie. And he has these all these comedy skits. And then he has actual series where he's like, this dude's legitimately making TV shows strictly for youtube he has paywalls if you want to pay you can pay to get like the whole entire season at once otherwise it releases every week Mm -hmm. dog this guy has this show called my lesbian homie nice this shit is so funny dog i'm i'm not gonna spoil too much but the man's name is bruce in the first episode of the first season, um, which I didn't start, I started from the second season and watched all of the second season and then went back to the first season. You're one it of just, those. It didn't, it just worked like that. That was the first video I was introduced to. So I'm like, yo, let me look at it. But um, my, my girl, she'll start a show. Doesn't matter how many seasons, it could be like 10 seasons. She'll start on like season 10 like the ass end of everything. Watch how the show ends and then go back to season one. No, no. I normally always start at season one, episode one, but I'm going to be honest, I didn't expect it to be that great. So I'm like, let me see what it's hitting for. Right? Funny as fuck. The guy's name is Bruce. Big black dude from LA. The first episode, he's playing basketball with um, this girl, right? Wearing basketball shorts, all the shit. Then the girl's like, yo, I'm about to go hook up with the daddy, right? Like, let me, like, do you mind if I just go take a shower real quick? Everything like that. He's like, cool. Goes up there. He's like, all right, man, I'm about to go take a shower. Can you give me a towel, bro? And he's like, yeah, I got you. He went, came back, and she's taking off her basketball shorts, and she has leggings on underneath. He notices that she has a fatty. and he tries to hit on her. Obviously, she turns her down. She goes to her lesbian homegirls, tries to tell them about it, and she's the lesbian homegirl's like, wait, you ain't never tried meat before? How you know you ain't like it? You ain't even no real lesbian unless you, you, you gotta try it to know you don't like it. He I wonder if up, that's a fact. He ends up hitting her, right? And he's like trying to, he's laying with her. He's trying to, like, touch her. She's like, no, don't touch me. 
She's like, all right, well, are you going to take the clothes off? She's like, nah, man. Um, just go pass me some scissors. She's like, what? She's like, I'm just going to cut the crotch out of my boxer shorts. <laughs> so, long story short, he goes through so many situations. It's not about the same girl all the time. He's gotten into the same situation crushing on lesbian girls twice. Um, and it got to a point where this nigga went to the fucking, uh, went to go text one of his homeboys. His homeboy's like, hey, what's up, BSB? And they're like, he's like, what do you mean, BSB? He's like, box of shorts, Bruce. <laughs> he's like, I heard about you trying to tell that girl that was trying to hook up with you, the straight girl, to uh, cut the hole through a box of shorts. <laughs> like, that, that's fucking nuts. Why would uh, you cut a hole through the boxer shorts if there's already a hole? I mean, dog, that, you kind of have to, like, angle it down, but I don't know. Craig Smith's in the show, too. He's funny. He's not, like, the uh, main character. That Persephone girl from the show, she's in the second season. In the second season, is far better than the first. It's just seems like he's got a bigger budget, and it's been kind of blowing up. But this is all he does. He like makes little web series and puts it on YouTube. That's tight. He got a little web series, comedy series called Tiberius, where he's talking about nigga, if you're a pussy and you're trying to get somebody's ass whooped, call this nigga. <laughs> and that's just hilarious in itself. I gotta say, bro, you've been an all deaf digital loyalist. Since you first heard about it. I, I remember haven't. years ago you was telling me about it, especially like Roast Me. Uh, and you were telling me about uh, Teddy versus Doughboy. And it's just like, damn, bro, all these years. Like, I fell off, come back, like, if a new season of Roast Me come out or something, you know, shows up on my algorithm that reminds me of it. Like, you just stay on that. You know, all of I'm gonna be honest. Most of the people from All Deaf Digital only get back together for Roast Me. I don't really keep up with All Deaf Digital anymore unless I see Roast Me is coming out. Um, but a lot of these comedians, like um, Patrick Cloud, I mean, yeah, I just started keeping up with them just because I was bored and looking for something. Um, and then this guy is like the second guy that I looked into. Craig Smith has a show which is pretty funny where you call in and, you know, talk your bullshit. But mm -hmm. I can't say I keep up with all deaf anymore. It seems like that place is kind of falling off. I mean, even if it does fall off today, I think what it created as a platform for, like, small creators to, like, get known and uh, network with each other and just like see that kind of cultivate into even more shit it was tight it was super tight i i still love going back on the old episodes of roast me i was yeah. like well, my, my kid will see me like airpods in my ear listening on uh, on my iphone and she's like what's wrong dad because she just sees me like cracking up I get it, because I was watching, I think it was a Best of Roast Me, because they always drop those, like, Best of Roast Me's with different guys, and um, I was watching one, and I don't, I didn't remember it, but they said this nigga got kicked out of a zoo for trying to feed a parrot a chicken sandwich, mm. and I was like, dog, who the fuck even think? Like, just how creative and witty that shit was. Yeah. I was like, all right. This. Or just the simple ones. I remember Craig, like, telling the guys, like, sometimes he just think that he ain't dirty enough. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> this nigga told a nigga that he got fired for being musty. I was like, wait, <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> Classic. Even if, like, the, the show, like, has a shitty season today doesn't like ruin the fact that like that shows a classic it's had so many good seasons for real 
but we got about four minutes. Maybe get into this playlist real quick. Yeah, I'm looking for my guy. All right. I got I got my part, so I'll go ahead and go. Um so this song is called Find a Balance. It's fucking hella dope. It's by Pac-Man the Gunman. Pac-Man the Gunman was the incredibly chubby, incredibly black dude with fucking French braids that you've seen in every single Nipsey Hustle video. I didn't even know he made music, but it's him. The beat is made by Hit Boy, so you already know it's going crazy. For and real. featuring who else? But the West Side's very own Dom Kennedy, and it's called Fine Balance. Um, it's just, it's great. It's two minutes and 40 seconds. It doesn't feel like an incredibly short song. It doesn't feel rushed, but it is a shorter track. It's it's tight. It's got a non-regional type feel, which I like. Like, it's not super heavy West Coast sounding. Uh-huh. It's not super heavy East Coast sounding. It's just kind of got, like, a little bit of an old school bop with a new school swing. Like, I rock with it. Oh, fuck with it. Oh, speaking of short songs, the song that I'm about to put on the playlist is one minute and four seconds. And ironic, ironically enough, the song's called Two Hours. <laughs> and it's Two hours by, and four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> by Toby Lou, T-O-B-I-L-O-U. You know what it is. Just chill R&B vibes. Feels like kind of like an intermission track where it's like one of those songs like, damn, this should have been a full ass song. But, I know, but sometimes, especially with these R&B joints, like, because I feel like R&B niggas really care about their projects. Sometimes that's like that little palate cleanser to you get to like that next portion. Like, yeah. Yeah. They be sure. putting out those little short tracks where it's just like, they'll be singing, they'll, they'll tell you some real shit, like exactly how they feel. Like, R.I.P. Teddy Ray, he made this love ballad. Where he just said, You and your bitch, y'all ain't gonna work cause she's cheating on you. And you know it, and you know it. Dog, oh my God, the soul, the soul. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you for listening again. This is another episode of the Fat Poppy Slim Poppy Podcast. You can go ahead and leave messages under. The Infamy 93 and tell him um, whether or not you want to lay down. But you can also follow us, give us a subscribe, send us to some other people, let us know what you think. We're always open to feedback and uh, check out the playlist because we're always adding to it. Yep. We'll holla at y'all next time. E. All right, peace. <laughs>